Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi everybody, what is going on, it is Gail right here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Memoria Freeze video, and today, well, today I'm gonna be showing you guys something that, well, to be quite honest, I've never seen in my time playing Don Machi Memoria Freeze, because usually I've been pretty active in terms of actively logging in, making sure that I am at least logging into the game on a daily basis even though i may be skipping majority of the content i always try and log in every single day well yeah this is the first time i'm actually able to see the welcome back login bonus so this is also for you guys as well i'm gonna have to take a screenshot of this i didn't even realize i was getting this until yesterday i noticed when i logged in that oh wait a second I'm getting some extra login bonuses that I'm not able to tell what it's from and then I look at the you know it tells you where it comes from and it says welcome back login bonus and I'm like oh wait I didn't log in for like two weeks so this is a screen you see if you haven't logged in for two weeks you basically get a sort of like comeback bonus effectively so I wanted to kickstart the Dan Mimo videos with this I've been thinking about doing the record buster video today I'm actually gonna save that all instead for tomorrow or day after tomorrow basically instead and uh, I wanted to kind of just talk about the welcome back login bonus and just talk about as well the fact that I've logged in this game for nearly 1800 days and this is the first time I've actually seen this uh, screen there have been some times where I've missed a day or maybe two days but mainly that's because I've been traveling you know going from country to country and then I just forget maybe one day because well one no internet access or two i've been super busy with like unpacking packing you know going through that entire process of traveling that it's been a it's been very uh, uh, rare for me to miss multiple days you know i've logged in for 1866 days i think there are a lot of people who are probably up at around 1900 days of course knowing that i've missed about two weeks of logging in into, into this game you can probably tell that that's gone of course as well that's 14 days at least gone out of the window and then probably another like i would say 15 to 20 days probably at minimum that i've been gone as well purely because i just haven't logged in on a on some occasions right so yeah i mean it's still an insane amount of days to log in i think if i have to think about it dan mimo is probably the game i've logged in the most in terms of any gacha game i've played uh dokkan i think was at 1500 days when i stopped playing that game Don Machi Memorial Freeze is at 1,866 days and we're approaching end of service, so I'll probably hit maybe 1,900 days. And then just looking at my other gacha games, Genshin, I'm probably at around 800 days active or something. I mean, I could easily just check Genshin and Star Rail. I, I mean, Star Rail is obviously only a year old. Genshin is going to be the more interesting one because Genshin has been around for three and a half years and I've logged in. Again, that is a game that's very similar to, I would say, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? It's very similar to uh, Don Machi Memoria Freeze in that I've logged in almost every day outside of maybe like a day or two here and there in terms of, of course, obviously, you know, missing out on potentially one day here, one day there, stuff like that. I need to actually see, can I, how do I find uh, my days active on Genshin? I need to see this. Can I, how, how do I find this? Where do I find this? I know there's a way to actually see, but I don't know where it is. Um, okay, either way. I'm gonna ignore that, I ignore that, for forgetting how long I've logged into Genshin. I wanted to make this video all about, well, one, the fact that I, this is the first time I'm seeing this and actually being able to do these welcome back quests as well, which, I mean, I wanna actually see what rewards we get from these welcome back quests, because I did them yesterday, and then I haven't done them, I didn't do them today, because I wanted to log in and actually make this video as well, right? So, I'm actually quite curious to see what sort of rewards we technically get from this. Uh, okay, so 10 SCR Fauna Large and 10 Dexterity Fauna. So, I assume you probably get 10 of each Fauna and maybe like one Hero Fauna, which it's not the worst, I would say. I mean, I think there has been worse drops in other modes in this game, to be quite honest. But I guess as, a, as somebody who's just coming back to the game, I mean, that's not bad, I would say. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. It's just okay, I would say. It's just okay overall. Are we gonna get... Yeah, we're gonna get the Hero Fauna there. Yeah, it's one Hero Fauna. I knew it. I knew they would give at least one Hero Fauna. Which isn't bad, to be quite honest. So you can do this once per day. I assume this will be open for 14 days, I would say. 
Se seven days, yeah, seven more days. Okay, there you go. So it's open for at least another seven days, which um, I guess I might have missed out a couple of them as well over the last few days because I have been lo logging in very inconsistently over the last few days. But um, yeah, as you saw in the login bonus, we can get some uh, four star 11 draw tickets and stuff like that as well, which I will definitely be saving up. I think those tickets for the end of the month when we do that massive live stream, the 12 hour live stream for the, uh, you know, Sayonara for Dan Machi uh, Memorial freeze i definitely will be making a, a video on it for sure um and i want to talk definitely uh you know talk about generally what i think about the game uh, overall and stuff like that in that live stream it's gonna be a big big live stream be sure to be there I, i'm not gonna schedule it right now i'll schedule it once we get closer to the end date of course as well but yeah this is the first time we've seen the law uh, i've seen uh, ever seen this welcome back login bonus in fact to be quite honest I always knew that there was a welcome back login bonus in the game, but I'd never seen it actually being used even from my, you know, friend group or my familiar group or anything of that sort. I've never seen anybody actually avail this. So this is the first time I've actually seen the login bonus and everything. And of course, you guys will probably see it in the thumbnail of this video as well, because that'll probably be my thumbnail. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, but it, it's kind of interesting that, you know, you, you you've played this game for so long and then there are some things you still haven't seen even though i'm like a content creator for the game i've been in the top familiars and stuff like that and whatnot it, it's still kind of nice to see some things that you've never seen before before the game shuts down you know what i mean i think it's fantastic it's always 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 something very very special now of course you might be wondering gail what else are you going to talk about in this video of course you know you th uh, surely this isn't the only thing you're going to make a video on right no 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 this isn't the only thing i'm going to be making a video on i want to talk about some other things as well now obviously we you can see right here we've got a lot of other banners still live in the game right I am probably going to be summoning on some of these banners towards the end of the game's uh, life cycle once we get to the end of the game. We By the way, it's kind of weird that they still have uh, the paid banners live for this, even though... I well, I guess it does make sense because we technically, you know, some people probably still have their paid Salas left... or paid Iris left over. I'm thinking of Dan Machi Battle Chronicle now. So maybe they can use it on here or just save it up for when, you know the development team says that we can finally ask for the refunds which i'm not probably gonna ask for the refunds i have only four paid iris what well, they're gonna give me like 0.5 cents or something in my account come on now i don't think it'll matter too much but i want to stock back up on some iris because i want to do some summons to when we do the end of the um you know the last ever sort of like live stream and stuff right i want to definitely do some summons there because these banners will be live until the 28th. So all of these banners will be live until the 28th, which makes me kind of wish that they still kept some of the new banners that are coming up. I wish we got the fourth anniversary stuff. I wish we got the uh, Valentine's event stuff because I think we could have been absolutely fine getting those things. It's kind of a shame that JP got those, but we didn't. I know that, of course, it makes sense because, of course, the game's ending and all that jazz, but it would have been nice. Another thing I'm still hoping out for and holding out hope for is we get some form of, like, free multi thing going on potentially towards the end of the month where we just have a bunch of free multis come our way or something like that but we'll have to wait and see on that front so keep in mind is that we're going to be doing this now obviously i'm going to have to use some of these tickets because i am running close to their validity date um that is fine 29 days for that one uh 24 days for that one actually i could last okay this one i has to go so anyways we'll use the tickets right now we'll probably get some more tickets over the next couple of uh weeks somehow some way maybe via maybe some login bonus or uh, i say login bonus as if we're gonna get another login bonus well actually i will get one from the welcome back login bonus but uh probably through the events i still haven't done the knights of fiana stuff yet i've been waiting for that that's gonna be a source of salas from a uh, source of iris for me i do wonder if there's gonna be anything else that they'll surprise us with because i was kind of shocked that we did get a data download yesterday or a couple of days ago actually i should say um because I thought that based on what they said in the update notice, right? The end of service update notice. Oh my god, I got this, Lunor. <laughs> uh, uh, ailment team coming soon. Ailment team coming soon. Um, but based on the most recent... Uh, the, the end of service or notice that they gave, right? They said that the final app update was done ages ago when they announced the end of service, right? But we did get an in-game update. So I guess that was the differentiation there is that there was a obviously there was not an app update, but it was an in-game update, right? 
So I wonder if there is a possibility that they could do yet another in-game update in the next couple of weeks wherein we could get something for the end of uh, Global's run basically, at the end of the international version of the game, which would be amazing if possible, right? Obviously, they are adding the Valentine's event, the Valentine's CP event uh, to the game. So I'm very excited about that or Valentine's stamina event, I should say. That's, that's going to be coming out soon. The English version of that is in the data files from what we saw um, in the most recent data mine. However, everything else was still in Japanese. So we're not getting that. Anything that wasn't translated in the data mine was, is still in Japanese. I'll show it to you guys in just a moment once we're done with these summons. But... Of course, I really do hope that if we that we do get another in-game update, and maybe in that update we can probably get something uh, extra, something nice for us to you know enjoy at the end of the game's life cycle. I think it would be amazing. All right, four star on a non-guaranteed banner. Come to do some New Year's shopping. Oh, in New Year's unit. Oh, I mean, Crimson Tempest Eyes. Um, like I said, I'm going to be making a video very soon talking about my favorite teams. As you guys saw a little bit ago, uh, the, I was running a very, very weird fire team. That is one of my favorite teams. And I'll talk about uh, it in a separate video. I want to go over like I'm going to make all my seven favorite teams using all the slots that are that we have available. Right. And I'm going to be going over what I like about each team, what was my favorite team overall, and just generally talking about some of the metas as well. Um, obviously, because I am a little, I was a little bit of a meta rat at points, I'm, I'll admit. I mean, towards the end of the game, I was a meta rat using the light team again and again. But there are some teams that I used that weren't meta teams, and they ended up being some of my favorite teams in all honesty as well. So definitely, I'm going to be making a video talking about that as well. Um, it'll be a mech. I don't know if I want to do it uh, separated. Like, I want to do war games in a separate video and record buster in a separate video. Because frankly, in... Ooh, I'll take that. I don't have him at all. So yeah, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Damn, I didn't realize I didn't even have it m more uh, dupes in him. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, I will also probably be doing a video where I just level up all my characters and get the, uh, the CPs up and everything. Um, there are people, by the way, working on um, also conserving a lot of the... Uh, what's it called? They're conserving the uh, outfit stories, character stories and stuff like that. I am waiting until they're all done and dusted and I'll let them handle it. I know Pilk is doing a great job on his channel, you know, covering as much of the story as is possible. Big shout outs to him. I mean, it's not something I was capable of doing and I was honest and told you guys that I probably won't be able to do it. But I will support anybody and everybody who does it. And I cannot wait to share all of those guys' names because they're doing a fantastic job. And uh, kudos to them. Of course, if Danmachi Memoria Freeze's development team themselves come up to us and say that they were they are willing to support us and you know they will give an offline version nothing like it but at this moment in time we cannot trust that they will do it so i'm glad that uh, people are taking the initiative and actually are conserving the game um it is uh, I, I will be honest, I'm a little bit shameful that I couldn't do much in that regards, but I just don't have the time nor the uh, ability to do it uh, properly, and I feel like I would just be lagging behind. I'm not able to give my all to it, and I will say I do apologize on that front. Um, as I said, I was going to show you guys something as well in, in just a moment, and I've already forgotten what I was going to show you guys. Crap. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was going to show you guys. Oh, no. What was I going to show you guys? No. <laughs> I, I completely blanked out. What what was I going to show you guys? No. Uh, oh, data mines. Yes, data mines, data mines, data mines. I completely forgot. I was struggling to think. I was like, what the hell am I talking about? What the hell What what, what the hell was I going to talk about? I completely forgot. All right, let me just uh, uh, refresh the Imgur link. For some reason, I don't know why, Imgur and Reddit have been... I've been noticing some major issues with those two. So, um, I do apologize that... Uh, uh, if if you see that it I do tend to struggle a little bit with these things, but I don't know why it's been a massive struggle recently So as you guys can see in the Japanese version, they have a Valentine's login bonus. They're getting the uh, uh, Eyes in Wonderland event as well as a rerun as you can see But it's all in Japanese which means that while we get the files th They are not giving it to us, which I I don't understand personally because I I get the uh, I get this as to why they're not doing this maybe because they've probably uh, let go of the translators. I think that's what they've done basically is that they've probably in order to make it more cost efficient to run for the JP version maybe they've probably let go of the localizers right 
they've let go of people who translated the game in English, in Korean, in uh, uh, Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese, and of course in uh, that's it. I think those were the only languages they were translating in. So I guess they probably let them go in order to make sure that the game would still be running in Japanese because of course it's so much more cost efficient as a result of that, right? Um, and so, obviously, I understand why this sort of an event was not there. But I feel like this one they could have easily just remade because all they needed to slap on was rerun. <laughs> you know, it's not that difficult. Of course, there's paid bundles as well for the Japanese version of the game still. Um, obviously, new Lafia and uh, Anna Kitty for Valentine's, as you can see right there. Very cool. Um, if uh, I might do a video talking about these units maybe still. Because I could probably just go over to the JP website uh, or the JP News website and see what the units do there. It's very, very easy. Let me know if you want to see me make a video on that, maybe. Um, but there's a Valentine's Lafia assist, which, from what my understanding, from what I've heard, apparently, is that I think she gives minus 25% light res, which would have been fun. It would have been fun getting it now, but uh, sadly, no. <laughs> sadly, we don't get it. Um... Which is kind of unfortunate. We are also getting another Valentine's event back as well. So they're getting two reruns. And the, uh, they're getting a Valentine's banner as well. Which is very, very cool for them. But as you can see, we are getting this Valentine quest. Where we're getting the chocolate stamina thing. Which is cool. Um, I'm probably still going to be saving it. You know, for the foreseeable future. But yeah. Like they say. Uh, like Weird says here. Probably the final update for J English. We'll see how it is. Um, he's going to be doing a full dump update very soon in terms of, um, you know, making sure that all the full data download is done and it's collectible in one area. He'll do it at some point in the near future. The last time he did it was last April. Um, so this is the fir first and final time he's going to be doing it in nearly a year. So I will definitely be making a video on that. And um, of course, I will be sharing that link for anybody to download all the files and stuff as well. Um, but yeah, big shout outs to him for doing this for so many years now. Um, and big shout outs to him for obviously continuously data mining the game. But yeah, it, it's almost an end of an era. We're a month away basically, or less than a month away, 24 days away from the game shutting down. And uh, we are going to be making a content uh, videos almost every day. Like I said, I have, I have plans. Tomorrow, uh, today is obviously the first upload. Two days from now or tomorrow, probably Record Buster video, and we'll go on from there. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.